What is going on everybody? Today in this video we're going to talk about how to set up your Cronus stand for your PlayStation 5, Xbox and or your PC. All right. So the first thing you're going to have to do is go ahead and update your Zen. To be able to do this and add all your scripts, you're going to go ahead and just simply type in on your Chrome browser. All right. Just type in Cronus then downloads. All right. Once you guys are here, just right click on this download link here. All you want to do next is go ahead and hit on download. Okay. Then you want to wait for this page to open up. Once it does, we're going to go ahead and hit on this link right here that says download build 1.61. Just download the latest one. They'll have it right here. Just simply right click on this. Once you guys do, you guys will see it just goes into your downloads tab on the right hand corner, right? What I like to do once it's in there is go ahead and just drag it out to the desktop. You guys can see mine here. To do that, just open up your file explorer, click on downloads, and you guys can see the download over here. Just right click and then drag and drop it, all right? Once that is done, all we need to do is go ahead and run it. So just right click on it, hit next, hit I agree, and go ahead and simply go ahead and hit install here. All right. Once you went ahead and installed and done all that good stuff, all we need to do next is simply open up this thing that's going to pop up on your desktop. It's going to be called Zen Studios. All right. So just simply go ahead and open that up. All this is happening. You want to make sure your Zen's not plugged into anything. All right. Just basically hold it up in your hand. Wait for all this to pop up. Next, we're going to have to go ahead and update the Zen. So hit open online update tool. All right. Once that's open, now it's the first time you're going to go ahead and plug in your Zen. OK, so all we need to do next is simply go ahead and grab your cable, plug it in simply just at the top. OK, you guys can see me do it right now. All we need to do is go ahead and just plug it in at the top. OK, once that is done again, the other end of this cable is going to go into your laptop or PC, whatever you're using to run this collective minds update tool. Right. Now on the back of the Zen, there's a little blue button. Next, you need to go ahead and hold this down for about three to five seconds until on the Zen screen, it says Zen bootloader, right? So I'm going to go ahead and hold down that little blue button. Again, it's kind of hard to press, so make sure you guys get a good grip. You guys can see me do it there, it says Zen bootloader. And you can see mine's already connected because I've updated it, but you want to go ahead and hit disconnect. Go ahead and hit connect over here. You'll see the Cronus Zen, just right click on it. And then simply go ahead and hit connect and hit the latest firmware here. So for right now, it's going to be 2.214, right? Again, this is a step everyone needs to do. Doesn't matter if you're playing on PS5, Xbox, or your PC, guys, all right? So make sure you guys go ahead and do this simple step to get it at least up and running at to start, all right? So make sure you update your Zen Studios and then update the firmware on your Zen, all right? Once it is done, you guys can see everything's done. You can simply go ahead and X this out. And next step is going to be downloading a free script. So again, I'll leave you guys this link in the pinned comments and in the description below. So please go ahead and sign up on the free scripts here. Once you've signed up, all you need to do is log into your page. Let me go ahead and make this a little bit smaller. We do have paid scripts, so you guys can check those out as well. But you just want to click on the products tab, click on the free scripts here over here and go ahead. And I personally recommend right now, just download the rabbit version one. That's the most simplest, easiest script to use. So just right click on it. Again, same thing. It'll just go into your downloads tab here. Then we need to go ahead and look at our Zen Studios again. All right. Now we can go ahead and simply unplug the Zen from the top. So let me go ahead and make this a little bit bigger. Right. So next, all you do is simply unplug from the top, plug it in on this right hand side and bang. Just wait till it fully loads in. All right. Sometimes the programmer or the compiler might not load in. If that happens, just X out the Zen Studios, open it back up. All right. Now to go ahead and add the script onto your Cronus Zen, hit the files tab here. Go ahead and press open, go into your downloads and you'll see the rabbit version one. Just right click on it. Go ahead and press open. You will see this logo. You got it on. Guess the programmers tab. Press the six little lines that says GPC scripts. Right click on this rabbit version one and then drag and drop into the open slot. And then simply go ahead and press the play button to program AKA save it onto your Zen guys. All right. Once it saves, you guys can see mine saving. That's how easy it is. All right. Once it saves, there we go. We got it done. And then now we're going to go ahead and talk about how to connect it to our X Xbox PS5 and PC next. So before you can do that, go over to your device tab though, and make sure you set your outro protocol. If you're playing on your PS5 first, just put it on auto. I know everyone's looking for the newest Cronus Zen scripts that's going to help them control recoil and get extra aim assist on all their games. Well, I got you guys covered. Go ahead and click on the first link in the description. That's going to go ahead and bring you guys over onto our Podia page. And yes, I'm crazy enough to leave my personal phone number 
and my email here. So as I'm explaining any one of these tiers, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and shoot me a text message or simply go ahead and email me. All right. And again, we do have a refund policy. So if you purchase anything on the site, you try the scripts, you don't like it within three days, I'll give you your money back because I know you guys will all love the scripts. All right. So let me go ahead and break down each one of these tiers. Again, they are monthly memberships, but again, you guys can cancel any single time. And we do also have a brand new option to buy all the scripts for a one time purchase on the sell fi that's going to be the second link in the description for the 75 dollar tier if you guys want to go ahead and check that out right but first tier is going to be our ultimate aim assist tier and the reason this is first it's because it's our most popular tier right we currently have over 1500 active members in that tier and that just gives you guys access to everything in the extreme scripts products tab which is going to be all of the extreme scripts aka all our newest scripts right and then also in that 30 dollar tier it gives you access to my exact aim assist values for each of those scripts so you can just plug and play and you're ready to go all right next again is obviously the extreme scripts here that's just again only going to give you access to all the scripts not the aim assist values but you guys can watch the youtube videos and figure those out next is going to be the custom scripts tier right this is where we use your exact in-game settings and your weapons all that stuff to make you a customized script so you don't have to adjust anything. And then if you're brand new to the Cronus, then I highly recommend you get the legendary tier. So this is where we get on a one on one call. Make sure your Cronus then set up correctly. I know a lot of you guys are brand new, so you don't struggle. This is the tier I would recommend. And then finally, the Panda Elite. Again, this is a one time purchase per year and it gives you guys access to all of the tiers in here. So again, a one on one call with me throughout the year. If you have any setup help and all that stuff, we get you guys covered. And then again, like I mentioned, I know a lot of you guys don't like the membership options. That's fine. We also went ahead and opened the sell fight. So if you just want all the X scripts that are in the extreme scripts products tab right here, you can also go ahead and just get that for a one time purchase. That's going to be in the $75 tier, right? And I know a lot of you guys ask Panda, is that one also updated? Yes, indeed. I do update it, but I do go ahead and give all the early accesses to my Podia members that are on the monthly membership, right? And again, if you want to try some of the older scripts, you guys can do that on the $10 a month tier. But man, a huge shout out to all our members that are on the podium. Appreciate every single one of you guys. Let's get back to the video. All righty, Panda Gang. So we're over on our PS5. And right now, I'm going to go ahead and not utilize my send link and show you guys how to do the PS5 button spam bypass before you ever turn on any scripts on the Zen, right? So the first thing you want to do is make sure your Zen's not plugged into anything, right? We've already set up the script, all that good stuff. Even if you haven't, first thing you want to do is press on your name, turn on your controller wirelessly, right? You guys can see I'm going to go ahead and just sign into my profile. Go click on your settings tab first, okay? Go ahead and press on accessories and make sure when you go over here where it says controller in general, you want to make sure your vibration intensity over here is set to strong, just like you guys can see mine. Same thing with your trigger effect intensity, all right? Make sure both of these are set to strong. Then next, the communication method. Make sure this is on use USB cable, right? Now, again, you guys can bypass most of these steps. You don't have to do the bind spam bypass if you utilize the Zen link. If you guys want my video for the Zen link setup, just comment down below Zen link. I'll send it to you. I made a couple of those last week. But right now, I know a lot of you guys don't have that. So to do the bind spam bypass, make sure all these settings are set up correctly. Even if you're using the Zen link, you need to make sure all these settings here are exactly how you see on my screen, all right? Next, you want to just go over to general. Hover over, turn off accessories, right? And you guys can see this is the same method for your DualSense Edge and your regular PS5 controller, right? Once you're hovering over turn off accessories, you're going to first go ahead and wire up your controller, right? So again, I'm going to plug that wire over here. The other end, the USB end right over here, that's going to go into our Cronus then, just like this, okay? What I'm going to do is let me go ahead and make myself a little bit bigger so we can see everything. There we go. So you can see this is what it should look like, right? Again, no power to the Zen yet. Next, you want to go ahead and plug up a normal USB end into your PS5. Doesn't matter if it's the front or the back. Grab the USB C end, which will be the other side of the cable. And now you're going to plug that in at the top of the Zen, just like this, right? Now, before you go ahead and fully plug it in at the top like this, you have to make sure, right? You have to make sure you're holding down right on the D pad, okay? So hold down right on the D pad the whole time, okay? And make sure you're hovering over turn off accessories, right? And then go ahead and give the Zen power. So you can see I'm mashing down right on the D pad. And then now I'm going to go ahead and give the Zen power from the top and make sure on the Zen it says Zen. No scripts can be active at this time. And look, it did that button spam step, right? Once it's done, now you can go ahead and turn on your script. So make sure you do this every single time before you turn on any script, guys. All right. Doesn't matter if it's a Panda Aim version seven 
or rabbit or anything you guys download so now let's go and go into the game all right now if you're playing on xbox you want to make sure you go ahead and select whatever xbox you're using so use one x slash one s here's how you set up your chronos end for your xbox step one plug this in it on the right side open up your zen studio once that's open go up into the device tab and then come down here where it says outro protocol and go ahead and select whatever xbox you're using so for me one x slash now it's time to plug up your zen so this top cable is going to go straight into your xbox left side is where your controller is going to go and then manually turn on your xbox all right now you always wanna make sure this light by your controller is green, that means the controller is gonna work. And if you're playing on PC, also I recommend either Auto or PlayStation 5, depending on what controller you're gonna be using. Here's how you set up your current Zen for your PC. Plug the Zen in only on the right hand side and then open up your Zen Studios. Once it's opened up, go over into the device, come down where it says Outro Protocol, and if you're playing on PC, you can put it on Auto and or you could also do PC slash mobile. Now to plug up your Zen, only plug it in at the top just like this, and your controller is gonna be wired on the left side. Make sure it turns green and that means everything's gonna be working right.